Hello. We're coming to the end of the growing year here at home grown veg in the United Kingdom. These are the last few tomatoes I've been taking off. And if I just pan you to the right, you'll see that I've been growing these tomatoes in bags. Fabric bags. I don't know if you've tried them. They're the fabric bags I'm growing in. As you can see, I've threaded a bamboo through the handles of the bags and I've grown the tomatoes up those strings. The strings are attached to the bamboo and when we have a look up top you'll see that the string is attached to another bamboo that is attached to the underside of the greenhouse. Okay now I'm going to cut you to some film now that I shot uh, a couple of years back, I haven't had this polycarbonate greenhouse that long but it has weathered quite a few storms and I'm looking at this now and thinking this is something that I might want to retain through winter this might help me keep the greenhouse on the ground because over the last couple of years there's been every chance that I might lose the greenhouse certainly lose some of the polycarbonate sheets out of it but I'm going to cut you back to some film that I shot when I first got this greenhouse uh, and I had to install a lot of Heath Robinson strengthening into the greenhouse I had to think on my feet because I didn't expect the greenhouse to be as flimsy as it was and when I discovered it was as flimsy as it was I discovered it in a storm uh, and, and so it was a bit of a battle to storm proof it but if you see this now and you maybe want to give this a go this might uh, stop you having quite a few sleepless nights as we move into the winter month right let me cut you back to that and then come back to me Storm Kira has been with us now a couple of days uh, I've not been able to get in the greenhouse uh, but we're going out there today to have a look ok are you coming? yeah come on let's see how this, uh, this new system is working
What a day! What a day! I'm terrified! I'm glad to get out of there! Hold on, I need a cup of tea before I can say any more about this. Just hold on. disposition don't get a polycarbonate greenhouse because it sounds as though you're going to lose it every time there's a strong wind why did you see those sheets vibrating well at least it hasn't blown away the strengthening bars uh, seem to be holding it together but those polycarbonate sheets are doing a bit of rattling about aren't they Blimey, I might need to uh, do some more in there, I'm not too sure what your ship, but I might need to uh, stop those polycarbonate sheets rattling about like they were. I don't think they'll break, they probably won't break, but the worry is there's enough vibration in there for them to start and slapping in some of the nuts uh, that are holding the strengthening bars in there. Hey, just roll on this kettle's ball, roll on. And something else I'll tell you as well while I'm making this cup of tea. I've noticed that all the weather we get here in the UK is second hand. Yeah, somebody's always happy before we get it. And I think we're fortunate in that respect because if we get warm weather, it's usually very hot weather in the Azores, North Africa, Spain, France, and it comes up towards us. And as it gets to the UK, um, it gets less and less hot, but it's usually warm. 
Well, I need this. Um, and if we get cold weather, that usually comes in from the east. Remember the boost from the east? I think that weather came from Siberia. I'm guessing it was much colder, a lot more snow in Siberia than what we got. And this storm we're getting now, this storm Kira, that's coming from the Atlantic. Now that wouldn't surprise me if you had some of this in the US or Canada before it came out to sea, came across the Atlantic and landed on our shores. But fortunately, it's not as strong as it, the gales or storms that you get in the States in Canada. It's usually lost a bit of its energy on the way across. Uh, but, but nevertheless, these are big winds for a greenhouse to stand and particularly a polycarbonate greenhouse. Hey, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think of all that racket in there? Blimey! Oh hey, hold on. <laughs> I need another drink of this too. Wow, that was noisy, wasn't it? Hey, <laughs> blimey! I thought I was going to lose it. Um, and one thing that I did notice was that when the sheets flex, they don't just flex out, they actually flex in. And if you notice those strengthening bars, those tile edging strips that I converted into strengthening bars, if you notice they were fastened to the underside of the greenhouse, uh, fastened to the frame, but they weren't actually fastened to the polycarbonate sheets. Now, I was in desperate straits when I, when I shot that video and I needed a quick solution. And I know I could have drilled the sheets and I know I could have bolted them on. There's, there's a number of ways I could have skinned that cat. But what I actually did was, in desperation, I sellotaped them to the underside of the polycarbonate sheets. Sellotaped them. Hey, that sellotape still holding good. In my mind, it was a temporary measure, but it's still holding good. Right, I'm going to get this camera off the stand now and try and show you what a good job that that sellotape's done over the last couple of years and how it's made this greenhouse much, much quieter. OK, let's uh, follow this string up to the underside of the roof with a tomato plant that's still growing. OK, I'm hoping you can actually see the string wrapped around the stem of the tomato plant. It's worked well for me this year. It's, it really has. Uh, and when we get up there, I'm also hoping you can see that it's tied off on a bamboo. And that bamboo is fixed to the underside of the roof. Can you see that? Can you see where it's tied off to the bamboo? I hope you can. Now if we come along, this is the next string tied off to the bamboo. The next string tied off to the bamboo. And another one tied off. And right on the end, we've got another one tied off and that tomato plant is still growing on, although it's just about at the end of the road. Okay, now what I was actually thinking was that these fabric bags full of compost, full of soil, are now acting as anchor points for the roof. They were acting as support points for the tomato plants, but now they're actually anchoring the roof. Um, the bamboos are slid through the handles of the fabric bags, and the string is tied off to the bamboo that's fastened to the underside of the roof, and so these are now secured in the roof. They're like a land anchor, if there is such a thing. And the bamboos are fixed to the frame of the greenhouse with a nut and bolt. 
Okay, now that's going to stop the roof flexing up and down as it did in that little clip of video that I showed you. That'll stop all that flexing uh, and hopefully there'll be no chance that I'm going to lose this greenhouse uh, when the next storm season arrives. That I've done enough to keep it anchored to the ground and in particular the roof. Now we're going to have a closer look now at how I fixed the strengthening bars for the polycarbonate sheets. Okay, as you can see I've done the sides as well, the side walls are done and the roof is done. Uh, let me see if I can show you this. So if I push this polycarbonate sheet away from that strengthening bar, if the strengthening bar hasn't got it, then it won't hold it. But hey look at that, I hope you can see that strengthening bar's flexing. Can you see that? The strengthening bar's flexing because it's holding that sheet and it's holding that sheet with sellotape. Sellotape that I put on two years ago, it's still holding. And I put that on as a temporary measure. Uh, but I think it's a permanent measure now because it's working. So we won't be getting all that rattling noise that we had when I first got the greenhouse. And I won't be having those sleepless nights that I was having when I first got the greenhouse. Um, and if you've got a polycarbonate greenhouse, you may want to fit some of these. It's just a simple piece of strip that would be a tile edging in your kitchen. That's all it is. A tile edging strip that will go around a kitchen worktop. And if you choose a colour, as I did, that's not currently in fashion, they just about give you them. And they're eight foot long. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, they're eight foot long. I didn't choose gold because I liked gold. I chose gold because it was out of fashion. And where I bought them, just about gave me them. They were only pennies. And they were eight foot long. And they've done an excellent job. And so has that sellotape. Um, so my advice to you would be, if you've just got yourself a polycarbonate greenhouse and you don't want to lose it when the storms come along, take some preparations, do it now. Assume that the wind's going to want to take these sheets away from you. Take your greenhouse into next door's garden. Because it'll try and do that if you get a storm. So the more you do now, in the calm, the easier it is and the better you'll sleep when we do get a storm. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed passing this information on because <laughs> being there, done that, got the t-shirt when it comes to nearly losing a greenhouse in the middle of the night, in the pouring rain, in a storm. <laughs> I know what it's like. So if you don't want to do that, what I'm suggesting you do is you maybe look at beefing up your polycarbonate greenhouse in the day when it's bright, when it's light, when it's calm, when it's dry when you've got time do it now don't wait till it's nearly blown over hey it was a nightmare I'll tell you it was a nightmare and it's a nightmare you can avoid okay so I hope you've enjoyed this video and if it actually helps just one gardener to keep his poly carbonate greenhouse on the ground it's been worth making okay so I hope you've enjoyed the video this is homegrown veg signing out